being able to just be like myself, I'm trying to be a, remote, a role model to the next generation is probably the biggest motivation that I can think of at the moment. So our business is called Tidy Culture. It was basically based off the art exhibition that we do at school. Um, so our, the theme last year was Because of Her We Can. And we had we big um, women that were special in our life. At first school we sold around 400 without even advertising or promoting it. Um, then we sat down and basically just um, planned out how this could work and turn it into the business. Um, and May came up with the, the name Tide the Culture. And then we got um, Sonny Walters and Bradley Hill as well to help promote it and get that get the word out. Yeah, it's pretty exciting times. Um, art is just relaxing and you can just chill out a little bit and not concentrate on footy, I guess. Um, yeah, because footy is always going to be a big part of my life. And um, But yeah, that extra, that extra designing and um, being able to connect back to culture is really special to me. So I grew up in Tavern, which is two and a half hours east of Perth. Uh, my dad's family's from there, but my mum's family's from up north in Fitzroy Crossing. So basically I've got the best of both worlds, I guess. Um, can escape to the country, um, do some hunting and also escape back up to the um, north and scenery up there is beautiful. The population of Tavern is pretty small, but and then coming to Karachi is probably bigger than my actual town. Moving here was probably I guess a new start of a new journey. I um, was very excited at the time, but getting here was um, probably daunting. He's, he's, he's a good player, he'll be fantastic. Yeah, not just for Fruits Footy, he's a smart kid, good decision maker, good for the community and good for the younger Indigenous boys coming up. So, yeah, perfect package really. Coming into the game and knowing that I did everything I could off field, then obviously the on field staff will just speak for itself. So, I just try to come in knowing that I did everything right. And if I go out and do the best I can, then that's all I can ask for. His leadership's fantastic. Um, so he looks after the Indigenous boys as well at the school, um, and also year sevens and eights. Um, but you know, through his footy and everything else, you know, hardly I've had no opportunity to coach him. Um, but you know, he's fantastic around the community, around the school, um, for the boys outside as well. Going up to the north and visiting the remote communities, you see a lot of, I guess, a lot of challenges they have, and trying to being an Indigenous bloke myself. I'm trying to be a, remote, a role model to the next generation is probably the biggest motivation that I can think of at the moment.